Now in this section, we'll go ahead and continue with the VLSM example. Like if you just go back uh, in the previous section, we have seen uh, some VLSM example where if you have a requirement of 100, 40, 20 and 10, instead of going with FLSM, we can go with VLSM where we can divide the nearest possible size to 40 will be 64, 20 will be 32 and for 10, the nearest possible size is 16. And then we have seen how to calculate like step by step method in the previous examples. We have seen the, the way you calculate it's going to be the same, but the range is written a little bit different. The range may not be same. Like if you have a requirement of 128 addresses, we are going to use from 0 to 127 with a slash value of 25, where you have host bits of 7. And the next size may be same, may not be same. Now the next size is 64 so we are writing 128 to 191 group of 64 addresses and from 192 to 223 group of 32 addresses because the requirement was 20 but 20 is not possible the possible size is 32. In a similar way if you have a requirement of 10 the possible size is 16 and we are going to use this 22, 24 to 239. So the range varies depending upon the requirement or the size of the network. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the same example. I'm going to use the same example, the requirement of 100, 40, 20 and 10, but I'm going to use some shortcut method to write that. So my requirement is 40 host. Okay. And I think 100 host first, first requirement is 100 host and then 40 host. And then the requirement is 20 and then 10. So I got my branch offices here, four different branch offices and in each and every branch office I got a requirement of 100 here, let's say the requirement of 40 here and the requirement of 20 here, 20 host and I got some requirement of 10 host in the another branch office. So I'm not going to use uh, the default networks and also I'm not going to use FLSM, I'm going to divide them in VLSM. Now in this example. I'm going to do VLSM using shortcut. So not exactly, I'm not going to do a complete calculation. And I'm going to do the VLSM by using some shortcut method. So let us see. So the entire calculation process goes exactly the same way. So the first requirement is, I got a requirement of 100 host. So I'm, I need to see the two power table which satisfies my condition. Now according to my two power table, so here I got a 2 power table according to the 100 requirement, um, 2 power 7, uh, it's 128. So the value satisfies our condition is 2 to the power of 7. So which means even though you have a requirement of 100, the possible size is 128. So based on this possible size, I can write the range. So when you're writing the range, I can write the range starting from the address will be 192, 168, 1. The first three portions remains the same. There's no change in the first three portions. So it's going to be 192, 168, 1. 192, 168, 1. 192, 168, 1. And 192, 1. Okay. So when you, if you want to write the range, generally, you just need to know the size of the network. Right now, the size of the network is 2 to the power of 7, 128, which means group of 128 addresses which means this address starts on 0 and the next address starts on 128 because of plus 128 here, group of 128 addresses and this address ends on 127. So I got the range. So to write the range, we just need to know the size of the network. Now only the thing, what else I need to know? I need to know the slash value. Now the slash value is nothing but your total network bits. Now to get the slash value, we need to consider n plus h. So network plus h is equal to 32. So by default, you have a network plus host. Network plus host is equal to 32. Now here, I know the host value. So the H value is seven here. So to find out the N value, we can say to find the N value, this is H value. This is my H value is seven. So to find the N value, that is your network bits. We need to subtract from total bits. Total, there are 32 bits. If I subtract the host bits, I'll get my N value. That is slash 25. So to get the slash value, we need to subtract from 32 minus 7. I got the 7 from here. It's slash 25. And we know how to convert this slash 25 into the equivalent subnet mask. We have did some exercises on that. 
So it will be 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1. So it will be 255, 255, 255, 128. Okay. So this is the first requirement. Now if you see this example, the result or the answer is going to be the same. But the only difference is the way you calculate it will be different. So when it comes into production networks or in the, ex in the scenarios, we generally calculate based on this requirement here. So this is a short method or I'm going to calculate only the values what we require. So any address starting from 0 to 127 with a slash value of 25. So if you see the answer above, which we did with step by step method in the previous video, the same answer we get. But the difference is when we calculated, we did everything, each and everything step by step. When it comes to your requirement, we don't need to uh, do all those things. So those all those steps are just for our understanding. Okay. So let us try to write the next range, next requirement. My next requirement is how much? 40. Okay. So the requirement is 40 host. So what is the nearest value satisfies to our condition? To the power of 64. To the power of 6, it is 64. So the nearest value satisfies is to the power of 664. So which means based on this, I can write the size of the network. I can write the range. So the range will be to the power of 6. 64 is the size of the network, which means a group of 64 addresses. It will be 192 will be the next network and my network ends on 191. So when you're writing 128 to 191, it will be a group of 64 addresses. And what is the slash value? So to find the slash value, we need to get back here from 32 because there are total 32 bits. If I subtract the host bits, how many host bits here? Six, it's going to be slash 26. So the slash value will be a slash 26. That is my submit mask. Okay, so this is how we, we got the next requirement or the next size. So it's it's from 128 to 191. So the answer, there's no difference in the answer. The only difference is the way we calculate. So similar way, I'm going to calculate the next requirement. And my next requirement, let me do it here. Uh, my next requirement will be 20 host. So what is the two power value satisfies the condition here? So by this time you should remember these two power tables, 2 power 5 satisfies my condition that is 2 to the power of 5 32. So 20 is not possible, the possible size is 32. So to write the range, it, it has to be 2 to the power of 5 32 is the possible size. So group of 32 addresses, which means from 192 plus 32, it will be 224. And my range ends on 223. And the slash value will relate to slash 27. So I'll get slash 27. If I subtract from 32, how many host bits I got? Five, it's going to be slash 27. Now similar way, we need to do the next requirement. Next requirement again, uh, it's going to be the same. The next requirement will be, uh, let's take an example. The next requirement will be how much 10 host? So it will be two to the power of four, 16 is the possible size. And the slash value will be from 32. If I subtract 4, I'll get slash 28. So when you're writing the range, group of 64 address 16 addresses. So it will be 224 to 239. Group of 64 addresses. Because plus 16 I'm doing here. So the next range will be from 240. And the slash value will be slash 128. Okay. So the size of the network is 16. So let's say if you are one more network size 16, I can use the addresses from 240 to 255 with a slash value of 28. In case if you have another requirement, we can use this size. So we got different networks, different network ranges. And then this is also one more network. Okay, so 240 to 255. So if you see the calculation here, when it comes to the range, the answer, whatever we, we got here, it's, there is no difference in the answer whether you calculate in a step-by-step -step way like we did in the previous video or you do you do in a shortcut way in fact it's not it's it's a it's just calculation of what we require so we're not doing each and everything we are just calculating what we require so in our requirement here as per my requirement i need i need these things you know i need to i need to find the size of the network here because 
my requirement is 100 I need the required possible size based on that I can write the range and once you know the range we can allocate the addresses here 0 to 127 and you should know what is the subnet mask we should use for them so to find the subnet mask from the total bits we are going to subtract the host bits because whatever the power value we get that is your required host bits to get the slash value so from the slash value we can extract the subnet mask as per our previous examples so from here onwards we are not going to use the complete step by step method whatever we use a step by step method that is for your understanding and once you have a very good understanding on a step by step method we can apply the subnetting calculations in FLSM or VLSM by using these short methods.